Hello friends, welcome to Cheese and Trick. So in this lecture, we will see about the load side. So in load side, again we have got two categories, right? One is balanced load voltage and the second one is unbalanced, okay? So one is balanced and the other one is unbalanced. So again in these things, in these two classification, we have three more classifications, okay? It is related to star and delta. One is star connection with three wire system. Okay. The other is star connection with four wire system. And the third one is delta connection. Okay. So here it will be unbalanced. What it will be there? Same thing again. Star three wire system. Star four wire system. And delta connection. Okay. So these are the three things. Most of the cases it will always be balanced but still to answer the questions in gate exam we will study even the unbalanced system. So we will see only the small small derivations related to this how it will uh, work the formulas and all okay then it will be very helpful to solve the questions very easily. Okay, let us start with this balanced star three wire system. Now in this balanced three wire system balanced means what? Balanced means what? Okay. Balanced three star three wire system. Now what do we mean by balanced and unbalanced? So if I have to draw a star balanced that means the whatever the impedances are present here they will be same value. Okay. It is same. If it's unbalanced, this will become Z1, Z2 and Z3. Okay. Now, since we are seeing for the balanced one, we will assume everything, the impedance to be balanced. So, here there will be a three phase supply. Okay. Three phase supply. And these line currents, sorry, these line will be connected over here. Okay. So, this is connected here. Let us draw it a little bit uneat. Okay. Fine. This is IR. Or you can take this as, let us take currents later. Okay. So this is nothing but, if this is neutral point. Okay. We have got here R, Y and B. R, Y and B. So this is VRN, okay, so this is V and Y and from here to here we have V and B, okay, so this is the connection. Now, this current, here is current IR, so in star connection line current and phase current will be equal, okay, so now if you want to calculate the IR current, I have to take the this is in the phase voltage form. This is phase voltage. This is in the phase load. So when everything, all the three are in phase, we will write it in phase. So IR will be equal to in the form of Ohm's law, V by Z, okay? VRN divided by Z. Now, since it's a three phase AC supply, so we will add the angle also. So let these impedances be at some angle phi. They are all equal for all the three are equal. Okay. This is for one current. Okay. Next I can write I Y V Y N minus 120 degree. Okay. Then Z phi. Similarly, I B V B N minus 240 degree upon Z phi. Correct. Now, if I have to write all these three in terms of VRN, I have to just change this, right? VRN with respect to VRN. Okay, correct? IR, IY, IB. So, this is also phase. This Z impedance is also in phase. IR will be equal to IFS that is also in phase. So, all the three parameters are written in phase current itself. Okay, so this is how you will calculate for the balanced in star three wire system. So here when you add IR plus IY 
plus IB, you will get 0 as your current. Fine. Now, this is the balance 3 phase, 3 wire system. Next, we will see for the 4 wire system. Okay. In this 4 wire system, this neutral will be connected to the supply. Okay. So, the neutral will be connected to the supply. When this is connected to the supply, there will be no changes here. But, IR plus IY plus IB will be equal to IN. Okay. This is for the 4 wire system. Clear? Next we will come for the delta thing. So coming to balance 3 phase delta connection. Okay, here we have to draw the impedances. Okay, these are the equal impedance. Okay, this is Z. Here also Z. And this is also Z. Okay, these are all balanced delta connection. So, in balanced delta connection, we will be having V phase will be equal to VL, but IL will be equal to root 3 times of IPH. Okay, now we will see the relation between them. If I want to find the current IRY, now this IRY became the phase volt, phase current. Okay, so this is flowing in this phase, so it will be IRY is the phase current. Okay. Now, I can take this IRY as, in writing in terms of the Ohm's law, okay, it will be VR angle 0 degree, okay. I am writing everything with respect to VR divided by Z angle phi. So, this is nothing but, I can write VRY as well, okay, VRY. This is nothing but phase voltage or phase, you can take it as line voltage also. But because they will be equal, make sure that these two will be in phase. You have to write all the parameters in only one phase, okay. This is IRY. Similarly, if I have to calculate IBY, okay, IBY, I will take VRY minus 120 degree divided by phi angle. Similarly, IRY, uh, then BY, then we have BR. VBR angle minus 240 degree or plus 120 degree Z angle phi. Okay, so this is for the balanced three phase delta connection. <coughs> you have to write this equation so that it will, whatever the parameter there was, immediately you can put the formula and do it with the uh, uh, putting these values. Okay, so next we will see for the unbalanced thing. Okay, unbalanced three phase delta connection. So here is Z1, Z2, and Z3. What is the difference in unbalanced uh, three phase delta connection? Here, there is only one thing that we have to keep it in mind. What is that? It is that IR plus IY plus IB, all the line currents will not be equal to, uh, sorry, will be equal to zero, okay, in the balanced three phase delta connection. But here, in the unbalanced thing, we will be having IR plus IY plus IB not equal to 0. Okay. The formula remains same. Everything will remain same. Only this thing will not be equal to 0. Fine. This is for unbalanced three phase delta connection. Next coming to unbalanced three phase star connection three wire. We will take first for four wire system. Okay, here also everything will be same. In Z place, you will replace it with Z1. Here also you can replace it with Z1, Z2 and Z3. Okay. For unbalanced 4 wire system star connection, we have IR plus IY plus IB is not equal to IN. Okay, so this is for the unbalanced 3 phase star wire system. Coming to the 3 wire system. Sorry, this is for uh, this is equal to IN where IN is not equal to 0. Okay, except this value, it can be anything. So coming to the unbalanced star 3 wire system. So here IR plus IY plus IB is not equal to IN. 
everything remains same but in the last equations it is varying okay so this is about the balanced and unbalanced load okay so in the next lecture we will solve problems where the concepts will be even more clear thank you